Hey guys, how are we doing? Back with another video from Nux Taku, and today we are watching the worst decisions ever made in anime ever. I mean, I think that's what the title is. I'm pretty sure the title changed like three times <laughs> uh, while it was up originally. And uh, let's just see what uh, what he has to say, eh? Let's see what these worst decisions ever made are. I mean, ever. That's, that's like all time. Damn. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. When I used to think of flexing on old people, I used to cringe at the thought. It's not okay, called boomer. flexing, it's called being a dick. <laughs> See an old guy barely able to walk with a walker and you just like do handstands and cartwheels in front of him? <laughs> dick move, not a flex. You see an old guy eating yogurt because he lost his teeth at this point it's and so you tasty. just like start chomping on a bag of chips or start <laughs> eating vats of ice cream in front of a diabetic? That is not flexing, that is being a dick. Yeah, that's well, true. I guess it's the variant uh. of flexing of the dick variety, if I were to be more scientifically accurate. Scientifically, now, yeah. thanks to a recent internet fad, I have begun viewing flexing on old people in an entirely different light, and in the badass variant of flexing. The baby boomers are the generation born between 1946 and 1964, and they have recently started getting the nickname Boomers. I think it's cute, I think it's funny, but okay, it boomer. got really better when... <laughs> Some older individual is telling you what to do, and you don't even want to argue with their points, why their points are so flawed. Instead, you okay, just boomer. say, okay, boomer, <laughs> completely invalidating any argument they throw your way with this single phrase alone. It has become so irritating to some people, talk show hosts have come together to say that it's ages. It's you've so heard of dumb. racist before, and you've heard of sexist before, but boomer is the first <laughs> N-word equivalent for ageism. That's right, that's now a thing, apparently. It's amazing. Yes, they were called out by, you know, the dictionary on Twitter, and I mean, literally, the dictionary called them out saying, how could dare you compare boomers with the N-word? And I think that's pretty yeah, hilarious. Yeah, so the dictionary, that, like, the dictionary broke out. on an individual. Very cool dictionary, very cool. But okay, <laughs> Boomer has become such a powerful retort, invalidating the entire argument without actually needing to destroy it bit by bit. Yes. I wanted to look at the greatest boomers in anime. Okay, we go. It won't be born between 1946 and 1964. <laughs> of course. That's well, uh, not how the years work there, but in that age range, when they're completely slapped with an okay boomer, that's what we're talking about here. Okay, today. I like this. Mostly because I want to, and not at all because it's something you asked for. Sorry fam, but also you're welcome. Definitely like and subscribe for more epic Nuxinor in the future. Now let's talk about some anime boomers. When I okay. thought of this topic, the first thing that go. came to mind was the second Hokage from Naruto. I like to call him the second Hokage because it annoys more people and therefore Wait. that is what I shall do. The second Hokage is such a boomer. This guy's pissed off at the Uchiha clan because of their long past history fighting each other. Even when they form an alliance and a village together where their children are playing together and where their families are marrying one another, mm -hmm. this dude still had it in for them. I personally think he's... Probably it's really weird that I've just watched a video well, just where Seth's explained this well isn't really the case. Around, <laughs> but I get what he's doing here. Criminal, so that's not exactly a quantifiable measurement in the second Hokage's defense. This dude goes around blasting the Uchiha's and somehow manages to get elected as Hokage because it's not a democracy in the League Village. It's just run by these three elders. Yeah, it's just you. You're Hokage now. Oh, okay. The Senju clan, and, well, they're also sort of boomers, but not for today. Despite the fact that this guy is blasting the Uchiha at every turn, politically speaking, he gets power and continues to almost quarantine the Uchiha's into their own district where they don't have any political power. Yeah. And even though in the second Hokage's lifetime nothing actually happens, the series itself says, okay, boomer, boomer. and proceeds to <laughs> cause this massive rebellion in the Uchiha clan that they want to go ahead and cause a coup d'etat and massacre the entire Lee village. Yeah, not exactly the coolest move of the second Hokage there either, but then of course Itachi goes to his dad, Fugaku, and says, hey, Fugaku, okay, boomer, you want to cause a massive rebellion? <laughs> Unfortunately, the entire Uchiha clan proceeds to get mad at you. Not exactly a great move on your part. I don't exactly see what you were hoping to accomplish, but hey, that's boomers for you. <laughs> There's so much of this okay boomer attitude oh in Naruto, God. I can't stop loving it. Yeah. I'm going to have to move on from Naruto because I don't want that to There's be There's too many I could video. think of. Oh, the third Hokage. 
Hokage died and we need a new Hokage. Let's get Jiraiya, Jiraiya. a sexual deviant who abandoned the village in every single one of its time of need. Well, he'd make a perfect Hokage. Okay, boomer, that's not gonna work. Oh, I know. Then let's get Tsunade. She's a self-absorbed, drunk, and also a gambler, gambler. that always loses her pet. She'll be a perfect addition to the Leaf Village's arsenal of tremendously oh awesome my God. Okay, okay, boomer. boomer. The first Hokage comes along and he's like, oh, I've amassed all the tailed beasts and now there's world peace. Let's give Just out give the tailed beasts away to all everybody. the other nations <laughs> so that everyone will be happy with themselves and there will be no more wars. Okay, boomer. There proceeds to be many, many more wars. <laughs> I love this okay, boomer. I think it's all fun. In Code Geass, my third favorite anime of all time, this ultimate mastermind, Charles Z. Britannia, essentially leaves the entire world to its own devices in this massive yeah. war because he's off doing his own projects, whatever, mm -hmm. because he kind of feels like it's cool and he wants to do that. Now, that's pretty nice and all, but when he tells Lelouch at the finale of his character arc, this was my plan all along! Long. It was to do all these really awesome things that don't really make sense! Join me on this only path to happiness! And then Lelouch turns to him and says, Okay, okay boomer. boomer! And proceeds to mind control God to obliterate his dad. Yes, yeah. it actually happens. And boss. it was amazing. Absolutely was like boss. The okay, boomer moment of all time. After this entire massive strategy and speech by Charles, he just got okay boomered really dead. Okay, boomered. Speaking of daddy issues, in Fairy Teru, there's Here a family go. with Makarov, the grandpa, Ivan, the dad, and Loxus, the son. Mm -hmm. At the very end, Makarov's like, all right, I'm going to use my remaining life force to use fairy law and destroy the bad guys. And he uses it, destroys a lot of bad guys, and he uses his remaining life force, so he's dead, right? And then, you know, plot armor comes along. It's like, okay, boomer, we're not going to let you sacrifice yourself. <laughs> you think you're going to die in fairy tale? No one dies in fairy tale. <laughs> and his son obviously had a lot of the same genes. Ivan had, like, all these crazy, ridiculous plans. He formed this guild, Raven Tail, which is not at all meant to mimic fairy tale. And he had this whole oh. diabolical scheme to take over the fairy tale guild and humiliate it. They're in the Grand Magic Games, and they're up against each other, and they are in the darkness, sinisterly laughing the entire goddamn time. Ha ha ha! Holly's doing according to our plan! And then eventually, Loxus is challenged by one of the Raven Tail guys, and there was this whole massive illusion, and he actually had to go up against all five of them at the same yeah, I'm sure you've mentioned this in and another he video. Totally outmatched and he had no chance, and Ivan's like, listen, Loxus, not only do you have no chance, but really you should join me. I have been kicked out of the fairy tale guild. Just, okay, Boomer, and then just annihilate him. <laughs> in fact, you do have been kicked out of the fairy tale guild for a certain point of time, also because your grandpa is a douche face. Now, because of all of these myriad of reasons that I am about to explain to you, I think you should betray fairy tale and join us, and if not, we're gonna kill you with our five dudes. And then Loxus is like, okay, Boomer, not only does he negate the entire character development of Ivan by saying, yeah, all of your character development and background story and interesting history that you mentioned to me right now, I'm going to stuff you out of the entire yeah, I don't care. story fine, in like three seconds without even disproving or disagreeing with any of your integral philosophical arguments that made you an interesting character. He okay boomered him so hard, we never heard of the guy again. He not only oh, right. shuts down really? his argument with an okay boomer, but proceeds to wipe out his entire kill with brute force. And even then they're just not in it again. This is a massive wow. okay boomer moment, and Loxus deserved it very, very much. Konosuba has a few of these as well. In case you didn't know, Konosuba is one of my favorite isekai anime. It's brilliant. Anime. So Kratos good. Wow, the anime. And Darkness is one of the harem members of Kazuma the Protagonist. Yes, she, she is. She gets called back by her daddy because her daddy wants her to marry oh, some yes. really posh knight dude who happens to just be like a genuinely nice guy. Like in the beginning you think he's some posh knight dude like, oh no, La Latina, otherwise known as Darkness, is gonna have to marry this total dick. But no, the guy's he's actually okay, so, a really yeah. nice guy. He's <laughs> It's true, he's fancy, he's rich, but he also cares about other people, he's empathetic, etc, etc, etc. And Darkness is like, no, because she's a masochist and a very strange... She doesn't want someone that's nice. <laughs> ...very likable character, says Kazuma is the one that's gonna marry me. You know, that peasant over there that's a total loser and also somewhat of a Nimrod? He is the right choice. The father's like, no, you must marry a noble! And also, this noble will care for you! He has etiquette! He has prestige! He would never harm a whammon! And Darkness She's like, well, says, okay, okay boomer. boomer, Kazuma's much better because he is a true advocate of gender equality. He would drop kick any yes, man he would. or woman, woman if they deserve it, and he would also 
so humiliate them, and then she proceeds to list all of her really weird sexual fantasy kinks. Yes. That we will not get into at this point in time. Mostly because it's no nut November. That was a lie. It's mostly just because I don't want to talk about it. And her dad's <laughs> like, but La Latina, your future, proceeds to list many reasons why her future would be better off with Night Guy. And she says, okay, boomer, proceeds to basically get naked and run off with Kazuma. Yes. Hell yeah, Konosuba logic for the win. Hell yeah. Absolute mad lad. Konosuba has another one of these epic logics also. At the end of the first season, there's about to be this massive explosion. Oh, yeah, the giant spider thing. managed to rig some sort of teleportation spell to teleport the explosion to a very far distance that happens to be random. Of course, it's the royal capital. <laughs> so like, good. I love that. Be in the middle of mostly an uninhabited land. This is way funnier. In case I didn't mention to you yet, you should totally watch Konosuba. It's, it's so good. Hilarious. Really do. I need to check and out the movie. then, of course, Kazuma, the protagonist, is in court because, you know, he, he blew up a, a very important city. And the argument pretty much went as follows. On the prosecution side, Kazuma should be imprisoned or executed because he teleported a massive explosion to the capital, killed many people, and, like, destroyed the city, and, you know, not cool stuff. Yeah, not and good. does the defendant have anything to say? And, of course, his witnesses slash lawyers are his harem of absolute nutcases. And they're all just like, okay, boomer! Yeah, it didn't work out that well that time. Whatever, not gonna spoil for you how he got out of it, but it was so good. Damn amazing. I love the okay boomer logic, because it doesn't even have to be right. Sometimes no. the boomers are right, but it's just, it's just as like, fun to I say, still okay, okay. <laughs> boomer! It is so smart. It is so goddamn smart. I'm getting way too much of a kick out of this meme. In One Piece, Blackbeard Here killed go. a member of Whitebeard's crew and started running away. And that's when Ace said to Whitebeard, All right, Pops, I'm going to chase after Blackbeard and take him down. Finally, serving him justice. Whitebeard's like, I wouldn't do that if I were you. He just killed a really important dude, and uh, he's very strong. He will probably, you know, beat you in a fight if you actually beat him. I okay, Boomer, I then proceeded and to carry on not only older and wiser, but your commanding officer and also potential father. Please listen to me and don't chase him. To which Ace immediately replied, with the brilliant and very eloquent okay boomer and proceeds to just chase blackbeard anyway and just proves whitebeard 100 percent right well, with all of his hypotheses yeah. the boomer was right but the okay boomer argument was still down yeah i like it remember when eisen picked up the hulk yoku and became like stupidly invincibly yes, strong we remember like, yo now that i'm stupidly invincibly strong with like the most broken power up of all time and the only reason why i actually lose my fight is because subconsciously i didn't want to win and the hokyoku read my subconscious mind to make me lose and now that i am so strong i can tell you ichigo you foolish boy that i have in fact laid everything in your life in front of you i have pitted every opponent that you've ever faced against you at perfectly incremented levels of power for you to grow your absolute strongest since you had the most potential of all. So now, because you had the most potential, and because you had the greatest training regiment of all time, fully devised by me, you are the strongest person in the world! So you're perfect for me to test my power against when I defeat you. And that's when Ichigo says, oh, you uh, planned my whole life out uh, behind me? Everything was part of your master plan? Okay, okay boomer! boomer. <laughs> then to slap the out of Just beat him down. Yes, they've talked about it in the past, but I'd like to say, in particular, now. Do you realize Ichigo didn't even bat an eye when Aizen said, I planned out your entire life Yeah, he didn't care. Yeah. Like, Aizen literally set up his dad and mom together to form a hybrid Quincy Hollow baby, and then proceeded to plan every goddamn step of his freaking life. Yeah, he doesn't but care. Ichigo's just like, okay, bro, <laughs> not even giving it a second thought. It's like, okay, cool, I don't care. Whatevs. How is this not questioned? How is this not argued against? No, yeah. I also had free There's will. There's no discussion. <laughs> because I am, in fact, a noble protagonist twat. No, none of that. It was just like an okay boomer, let's fight, I'm gonna wreck you. And it was great. In Maiden Abyss, which is also uh, one of my favorite. I really need to check this, this out. massive chasm in the middle of the ground, and it goes deep. God knows how far. Mm -hmm. And, you know, stupid 10-year-old kid go down, is like, I'm gonna go to the bottom, even though it's, like, super dangerous. The harder it is to come back up, isn't it? Two or three. And all the adults are like, I, I know that you want to go to the bottom because you got a letter saying, hey, come to the bottom. But, you know, you're probably gonna die at level two or three. I would highly advise you don't do that. In fact, I'm gonna make sure you don't by telling you all these really horrible and gruesome but things. But then she just goes, okay, Bobber, then go for it. <laughs> not only is it illegal, but there are goddamn adults everywhere. I'm adult, I was commanded by an adult, and there are adult peoples that you will inevitably run into in this abyss. And when you do, uh, and you're dying, and they're trying to save you, please take them up on uh, their help advice. And the absolute mad lad proceeds to say, Okay, boomer! And she ventures in the abyss anyway. And she gets attacked by literally everything. And she meets 
some older guys that's like, oh, this is extremely dangerous. Let me escort you back up. And she says, oh, okay, boomer, and proceeds to go, go down. <laughs> Every warning sign given along the way got smacked by an immediate okay, boomer. Definitely a very strong argument on their part. I just have to Definitely. Sure you Definitely. In my hero academia, Ooh. the beginning of season three, Bakugo was captured by the League of Villains. Yes. In case you don't know, the League of Villains is goddamn terrorists that are the most wanted people in the wild. The bad people. They're extremely dangerous, and all of the top heroes don't know what they're going to do about the situation. So, of course, a couple of students in their first year oh, of high school like, told are like, not to go He's like, okay, but take them. Let's go break into the terrorist hideout, break out our friends, and everything. They will be hunky dory with no casualties along the way. Obviously, all the teachers, all the older students, and you know the entire universe collectively Just like, says, no, don't "No, guys, don't do that. It's actually a really terrible idea." To which our hunky dory group of students are like, "Okay, okay bro, bro. <laughs> they proceed to just like break into the high ground. Yeah, they, they do. do their thing. And yes, they would have all been absolutely annihilated if it wasn't for a very nice, happy coincidence that the pro hero stormed the place at, at the same, same time. time. <laughs> the boomers were right, but the okay boomer. Line Still stats. But of course, you know, this is high school and it's anime and it's shonen, so it's like, oh yeah, they actually did save the day, and they actually did Ow. save the day. Very good, um, life lessons you're teaching to children around the world, though. The world, Very cool. And now kids are like, all right, next time the adults right. tell me not to do something because it's extremely goddamn stupid, and also very, very ignorant. Ow, my leg just slap with an okay boomer, do it anyway, it'll work out totally fine. <sighs> Thank you, my hero academia, for really showering us with the life lessons our generation really needs. I really appreciate the time and thought that went into this moment and all of the recourse that presumably has taken place after this event transpired. But stupid decision or not, can we just focus on how beautiful the OK Boomer was? Like, all the arguments and reasons for them not to do what they did were just totally OK Boomer thrown to the side and they actually managed to save the day. Yes, Probably they saved back and Telling him how great of an OK Boomer it was, because that's how karma. And I have a few mentions that are not exactly from anime that I wanted to talk about anyway, just because they're, like, so perfectly fitting into this genre. And, like, if you like this video and you want me to do another one, I guess maybe... Or do you like this? This is funny. a lot of fun to put together. But since I'm not sure that will happen, I do want to mention a few pretty hilarious boomer moments in animation that are not anime. Ooh. And also, let's just say, if this gets 80,000 likes, I will be doing Biggest Boomers in Anime Part 2. Cool. So, smash like, because why the F not? In Avatar, Avatar the Last here we Airbender, he has to use this as an example, doesn't he? Who, by the way, like, one of the greatestly written characters with one of the best developed character arcs of all time. His character arc can be summed up in two words, and they're okay, boomer. He starts up the story with his uncle Iroh, who's the best character in Avatar The Last Airbender, arguably, at least in my opinion, and my opinion is right, so not even arguably, <laughs> the logic is sound. And he's been giving Prince Zuko freaking selfless advice the entire goddamn journey, and to every single piece of advice Zuko's given, his response is, okay, boomer, and proceeds to not listen. No matter how deep and philosophical the advice is, they it just doesn't take it. get okay, boomer. <laughs> Two seasons later, he's like, oh, wait, actually, uh, Uncle Iroh is the best character in the entire show. I should actually start listening to everything he has to say. And that's when Iroh decides now's the time to not tell Zuko anything because, you know, Zuko actually needs to not be a bitch his entire life. Oh, damn. His own decision, <laughs> sort of. And then he turns to Ozai, his dad, and he's like, oh, you want me to work for you? You want me to just be your puppet? You want me to just obey every single order you tell me? You want me to capture the Avatar for you and you want me to be your puppet for many very logical reasons that Zuko's been actually chasing the entirety of the show? Well, okay. Hey, boomer! Time to redirect lightning in your face. Zuko's <laughs> storyline for the entirety of the series was okay, boomer, and it was still the best written character arc potentially ever. Just saying. In Teen Titans, there is a villain named Mad Mod, and this man is the embodiment of OK Boomer. Yeah. He's a guy who's old, who just develops these crazy wacky machines to try to steal the Titans' youth, and the Titans just OK Boomer him. He completely wrecks how they see things, telling them again and again why their generation is absolute suckage, and they just answer with OK Boomer and proceed to kick his butt. Mad Mod is one of my favorite villains in Teen Titans. He is freaking hilarious, and he is also an embodiment of the OK really? I feel like in Slade was a much better villain in Teen Titans, Titans, but okay. I couldn't go about making a video about OK Boomer as a retort and not talk about Mad Mod from Teen Titans. And the final OK Boomer situation that I wanted to talk about is in Scooby-Doo. You know, there are a bunch of teenagers solving mysteries and stuff, and after every single one, the bad guy's like, eh, 
I would have got away with it. Ooh, it wasn't for those pesky kids. To which the gang replies, Okay, boomer! I mean, literally every single one of the mysteries in Scooby-Doo, it's like, okay, so there are five new characters introduced. Three are very bland. One is the nicest guy ever, and one seems evil. Well, it turns out the one that seems evil is gonna be some secretly super nice dude, and the nicest dude ever is gonna be the one that's wearing a mask terrorizing the city. And then he explains, like, this whole reasoning about how he was actually the one that was being tortured his entire life, and they're like, Okay, boomer! <laughs> <laughs> Extremely cool, Scooby Doo. Extremely cool. Thank you so much for watching so this random. video. I don't know why I decided to go ahead and make it. Probably it's funny. Well, I, I thought like it would it. be a funny concept, and if I do say so myself, it was. Smash like on the video. 80k in the next one will be out within a week. That's right. Boomers 2 will be out in a week if you get this bad boy to 80k likes. Subscribe if you're interested in other content, whatever the hell I decide to slap together. I just have a good time with this stuff. Let me know in the comments future videos you'd like, and also maybe hit that bell to get notified when the next video arrives. Link in the description to my Twitter, Twitch, Patreon, subreddit, and merch! Feel free to pick up or join or follow whatever the hell you want over there. The description is now yours for the taking. Have yourselves the most wonderful evening. And remember to always counter logical arguments with absolute stupidity to stump your opponents. Nux Logic 101. <laughs> remember to stay, stay weird, weird fam. fam. No outro. Whoa. <laughs> uh, that was uh, that was funny. That was different. I miss the biggest flexes in anime. It's like 14 was up like what, like a week ago, maybe more now. The time of me uploading this, and uh, I miss it. But I like that he's doing other things. I like that he doesn't just stick with the same thing and then comes up with different concepts every other week or so. Keeps things fresh, I guess. So yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. What do you guys think of that? What do you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch and discuss in future videos. And I'll see you guys. Here's all you guys next time.